I'm Sam, and uh, welcome to Writing with Sam. Yeah, hey, today we are going to be writing the letter I. Uh-huh, you'll remember that I says I. Eh. Yep, well, we're going to be practicing the uppercase I, and we're going to practice the lowercase I, you know, using our lines. Um, so let's head over to the table, and we'll get to work on our handwriting. So we've got our paper ready for us, and we're going to write the letter I, okay? So I'm going to use my um, pointy finger and my thumb, and I'm going to make a pinchy, and then pinch that pencil up on the yellow somewhere, not near the top, but down here near the bottom, and then just flip it back into my hand like that, and that makes it a good, a good grip. So on my uh, paper here, I have this top line that's nice and straight, and it touches the cat's head, so we're going to call that the headline and then there's this line that goes da 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 and it goes right through the cat's collar so we're gonna call that the collar line mm -hmm. and then there's another line down here it's another long straight one and it touches his feet so we're gonna call it the foot line now the tail has a cat that hangs down but with the letter i we're not gonna worry about that so to make an uppercase i watch this i'm gonna start up at the headline and I'm going to go straight down to the foot line. It's amazing how many letters start with a big straight line from the headline to the foot line. And the uppercase I does too. Then I'm going to come back over um, a little bit on the side near the cat off from my big line I just drew. And I'm going to go away from the cat and across a little bit like that. Okay, now it kind of looks like a letter T a little bit. All right. And then I'm going to come down to the bottom and I'm going to put the one down here and draw another line just like the one I did up there and that is my uppercase I it's three lines a tall one that goes down and then a little one going across the top headline and a little one going across the bottom uh, foot line that's the uppercase I and that's also how you're gonna write the word I when you're using it as a word mm hmm now the lowercase I looks like this it's gonna start at the collar line and I'm gonna draw a straight line down because it's a short letter, but I'm not done yet. Because when I'm done, I have a line from the collar line to the foot line that goes straight down. And then, kind of in the middle of the um, collar line and the headline, I'm going to put a dot. Now, you got to make it big enough that you can see it. But, like, you know, most people, they don't like dots like this. Okay, we don't want something like that. That's just too big. Don't do, don't do that. But, like, just a little dot like that looks great. So we have our uppercase I and our lowercase I. And don't forget, if you're writing the word I, because that's like a slight word, then uh, you, know, you talk to a wordy guy about that. But uh, then you go across like this. You use that uppercase I, and that's also for the, uh, the word I. Anyway, thanks for writing with Sam today.